In 1974, Miguel Sabido, a professional television and theater producer and director, playwright, graduate and professor of the University of Mexico, and the creator of the theory of the tone, developed a methodology to make commercial telenovelas socially beneficial. The methodology has been completely proven and does not harm ratings, share, or sales. The underlying idea was to systematically use melodrama with all its intrinsic and highly charged emotion to defend values useful to society, such as family planning, adult education, the fight against extreme poverty, and the defense of traditional cultures. Sabido's methodology proved to be extraordinarily useful. It resulted in the enrollment of nearly one million adults in the program. It played a key role in Mexico's population growth rate, dropping from 3.7 to 2.4. His work was translated in the world as entertainment education. Sabido thoroughly proved that moral values could be added to commercial television formats without lowering ratings, share, or sales. Why not give it a try? Savito was invited to India by Prime Minister Indira Gandhi as a consultant on the application of entertainment education in her country. Soap operas Hum Log and Hum Ravi and later on Tinka Tinka Su were produced using Savito's methodology. In the Philippines, his methodology was reproduced in a weekly serial. Then, the subject matter for a special CNN show. Later, in Kenya, his methodology was applied to the radio soap opera Ushikwapu Shikimana and in a telenovela Tu Shaudiani. In Tanzania, it was used in the radio novela Twende na Wakati. Presently, it has been applied in South Africa, Zimbabwe, and other African countries. Results of this research have been put together and analyzed by Everett Rogers, a world-renowned authority on communication. And it has completely proven that entertainment education enhances the integration of developing countries in the emerging global information network. The Internet features all sorts of intellectual content, encyclopedias, language courses, etc., instinctual content like pornography and comics. But, so far, emotional needs and reinforcement have been sparingly explored. That is why Sabido took his concept of entertainment education to the Internet. He started with current affairs such as the AIDS pandemic, the rise of neo-Nazism, civil wars such as those in Rwanda and Yugoslavia, and deforestation, and extreme poverty. Their impact on our daily lives was then dramatized using melodrama to create identification processes, using the theories of Dr. Vandura, Dr. Eric Bentley's, and Sabido's own theory of the tone. An example is the story of a Mexican Jewish girl who gets pregnant by a neo-Nazi leader, the user can click on to links where information on the Holocaust is given, along with advice on how to fight against intolerance. HIV-AIDS cases are also featured. Hyperlinks connect users to sites where NGOs provide information on where help can be found or places where family or friends with persons with AIDS can join support groups. Thus, the methodologies for entertainment education by Sabido intertwine microcommunication, the Internet, a coach with a VCR to solve personal problems, medium-level communication with group networks on the Internet, giant screens, and festivals to bring together groups from 50 to 5,000 people to face group problems. And microcommunication, telenovelas, radio novelas, and soccer championships. All of them can be used to do away with taboos, reinforce socially useful values, and present identification behavior 
that are socially useful to average TV viewers. Thus, strategies using micro, medium level, and macro communications can be designed to streamline solutions to social problems. This is the work of the Mexican Institute of Communication Studies, IMEC. Four chapters of a web novella lasting around 10 minutes can be turned into a 30-minute TV web novella and then broadcast through an open or cable TV channel at a fifth of the current cost of a regular commercial soap opera. Here, we're talking about one of the very first products of digital convergence between two apparently different media, television and the Internet. This entertainment education web novella that tackles HIV-AIDS misconceptions and prejudice and fights neo-Nazism has been now online for more than six months in a commercial web portal, alo.com, with great success. It has had as many hits per day as any other regular entertainment site, and its interactive nature has proven to be very useful in its purpose and hypotheses. Professor Sabido was recognized in the most recent Entertainment Education Summit in the Netherlands for his pioneering and innovative work. Later last year, he was one of the main speakers on television and education at the United Nations headquarters in New York at the Fifth World TV Forum, where he presented his latest entertainment education effort, the above-mentioned web novella. During the last session of the forum, Barbara Pyle, CNN vice president, praised his work and called him the father of entertainment education. And in early 2001, Cecil Guidote Alvarez, a Philippine actress and peace and democracy activist, upon suggestion by Savido, convened a sub-summit for social change endorsed by President Gloria Macapagal Arroyo. This time, the idea was to convene members from the media, government, environmentalists, artists, educators, researchers, and NGOs to forge partnerships in utilizing soap operas or telenovelas as a mechanism to enhance people's social and political awareness and well-being. Professor Sabido has actively been taking his experience and knowledge throughout the world and truly believes that it is only when the great masses of people learn to behave in socially beneficial manners that the world will stand the chance of surviving. Professor Sabido believes that the human species has the right to, to evolve, to live in harmony with other species, and to preserve its ancient cultures. And the way to do it is by teaching this behavior through the responsible use of the media. And this education should start in university classrooms.